Greetings YouTube, this is Yvette and welcome to our channel. Blessings to you. This is the channel where we just, we seek the Lord and we walk in his anointing. We know who we are in the Lord and we don't take no mess from the enemy because we know who he is and he's under our feet. We take authority over him in the name of Jesus. We are victors. We are more than conquerors and we know this and we walk that way. So thank God for you all. I'd like to talk to you about fasting. We're getting ready to gear up for a fast, okay? So this week we want to focus on um, cleaning our bodies out and preparing our body for fasting, which means that we need to cut meat and sweets and, and, and processed foods out of our diet and focus on doing fruits and vegetables. Uh, my mom makes something called a cabbage soup diet. And that's where you make this cabbage soup and there's a certain thing that goes along with it. Well, I'm not going to do the diet part of it. I'm just going to do the soup part. Um, so I puree that soup and I sip it down like it's a cup of soup. So that's how I'm going to do mine. I'm also going to be taking some herbs, uh, senna, to help clean myself out. If I get to the point where it becomes uh, diarrhea, what I will do is take some cascara sagrada which is an herb that helps kind of bulk you up and it continues to pull stuff out of you. Um, and so I usually do that and it'll firm me up and I can continue to poop because I want that stuff out of my body. Uh, it's important to hydrate ourselves as we're preparing ourselves this week because we want to make sure that we're urinating out, out toxins because anytime you do uh, fruits and vegetables and cut out meat and sugar and stuff like that, um, it causes you to clean yourself out. And so you want to make sure that you're hydrating yourself so that you continue to pull things out. Drinking tea, especially dandelion root tea, is really good during this time. But really, any kind of tea will cause you to go to the bathroom. It's a diuretic. And it just works that way in your body, and you just kind of urinate. And you want to do all that stuff this week as we're getting ready to rid of things. If you're in a warmer place, you'll probably sweat more, which means you might need to shower twice a day instead of just once a day. So be mindful of that. You may have acne pop up on your face. You may get rashes on your skin because toxins will begin to come out as you are detoxing. So that's what's happening to us. Not only are we cleaning out our colon, but we're also uh, eliminating toxins because that's what that, that's just what happens. So when we are fasting, uh, several things happen. Number one, we uh, deprive the flesh and we raise up the spirit man. So then the spiritual man uh, takes over and helps control flesh. And we need to stay in the spirit realm anyway because the flesh is not a place we want to be. Flesh is... Uh, it's, it's prone to sin. It, it reacts very, very quickly. And so when the spirit man is strong, you use the Holy Spirit and you can hear him better to lead and guide you. Not only that, but you also have in, increased anointing. And that's really what we want to do is be walking in our anointing. So um, the, the goal is that next week we'll be getting into some dry fasting. If my... Um, process of eliminating and cleaning myself out goes well these first few days I'll probably start dry fasting before the weekend starts but I'm I'm planning to be dry fasting for three to five days next week dry fasting means that we are not eating or drinking any liquids of any type not even water now I've done that for five days I've actually made it five days it took me two or three on the third attempt. I made five days. I kept getting to two and a half days and could not get to three days because it was hard to start with because I've never just did dry fasting. I've always been able to do some water during that time. Um, but dry fasting is amazing because it catapults you into that realm of spiritual fasting because your body really suffers very, very quickly in that you get to that hunger stage, which is the stage, there's a certain place, a sweet spot on the fast that I really enjoy. And that's where I know, I feel like God, my body is weak and I feel like I'm worshiping and I'm praising you and I'm walking with you during this time. And so I don't have that fullness that you get from the flesh where it's the flesh is satisfied. I don't want to satisfy my flesh. I want to deprive my flesh. 
And fasting has so many benefits for us, so spiritual and physical. If there's any disease that you have in your body, you go on a fast, you'll start starving at the disease because what happens when you fast is your body says, hey, I need some nutrition and I've got all this stuff going on in the body that I don't need. And so it immediately starts kicking out things that it doesn't need, like the toxins you're holding on to. Any type of sickness or disease starts getting under control. So let's say you have cancer. Your body cannot support you and cancer, so it's going to start kicking cancer to the curb. So it's important that we fast. Not only that, it rejuvenates your cells in your body, it rejuvenates your skin, uh, resets your hair. I mean, if you're one of those people that you're just getting older and age is creeping up on you, hey, it will turn your hair back to its natural color. Um, so fasting is God's way of renewing us in every aspect of our life, and it's a blessing. And Jesus told us to fast. He didn't say if you fast. He says when you fast. There are certain things that you do. So we're going to be fasting because there's a blessing in fasting. And on this channel, we need to increase our anointing because the enemy is coming out after us. There's somebody that takes our channel and tries to keep uh, talking about uh, some cure they got from herpes or some uh, the virus on the lip or or uh, genital herpes and they use our channel and they do that with these fake testimonies because they want us to go and pay them for information that I've put out for free. I'm telling you, God gives us information and we share it freely because it belongs to the body. And from what I understand, because somebody did contact me in the past and told me, they were getting ready to pay $3,000 for three months worth of herbs. Listen, you guys, there's no herbs that cost that much. That's ridiculous. So I just gave her the regimen myself, told her, look, this is what you take, this, 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 and this. And voila, you keep on taking it. You keep taking it and you kill out that virus. But fasting does help. So fasting solves all kinds of problems. If you're diabetic, uh, fasting will solve that. Um, if you are in a situation where you're taking medications and you have to have that medicine and you want to fast, listen, there's way to fat, ways to fast. You can do a juice fast. You can do smoothies. You can do soups that don't have meat on it. You can go plant-based and do uh, fruits and vegetables and salads. Uh, you can fast from electronics. You can fast from social media. You can uh, Cut yourself off from, you know, getting into talky talk with friends and uh, that leads to gossip. There's all kinds of ways to fast. But whatever it is, we want to get our flesh under subtraction. And I have a situation where I have an addiction to sugar, you guys. My addiction is sugar, sweets. That is an addiction. And I heard a, um, a doctor, or, or excuse me, she was a therapist online, and she was saying that sugar is not an addiction. It is an addiction. It's an addiction. I have to have it. I want it. I desire it. Fasting brings all that stuff under subjection. Okay? So we're going to gear up to prepare ourselves this week. So this week, just eliminate stuff from your diet. and Do fruits and vegetables, smoothies, with the sole purpose of just trying to clear yourself out, which means don't go put other things back in your body. So don't start eating steaks and chicken and and meat, any of that stuff, because all that stuff takes a long time to process in your body. You don't eat at this meal and it comes out the next meal. doesn't happen like that. Listen, we need to make sure that we don't put stuff in there when we're trying to eliminate stuff out. Fruits and vegetables will take longer to get out of your body and process if you don't break it up into a smoothie or uh, turn it into fiber. So the if you can blend it up and drink it, it gets in your body faster and it has so many benefits. It will build your T cells so that you can fight disease and build up your antibodies in your in your in your system. Um, fasting itself will cause you to renew your brain cells. So we talked about some of these things, the skin benefits. All of this stuff happens when you fast. I don't know why we don't fast much more because we'd be gorgeous people if we did that. Our skin would be beautiful. Um, and soft and nice and generated and brain cells. And if you're forgetting things, we get renewed brain cells. So Lord knows at this age, I need to be fasting a lot because I don't want to be somebody with some of those issues where I'm um, forgetting things. So 
let's clear our bodies out and we'll be talking in the next few days. If you have any questions on what you want to do for your fast or how to fast, listen, it's so easy. You just skip meals. If you cannot do it, there's nothing wrong with you doing intermittent fasting where you eat one meal a day, but we really want to get to the point where we push back our plate. But I understand for people who are on medications, okay? So I'm not telling you to come off your meds. I am not a doctor. I'm not a naturopath, but I do study herbs, and I've been studying them for a while, and I've been fasting for years and have had much success. I did a 40-day fast uh, uh, twice, I think. But... Um, then I had a fast where I made a mistake because I rushed into it by not cleaning myself out. So this time I want to do it properly, clean myself out, and get myself ready for a longer fast or a dry fast. So my goal is to go three to five days. And those dry fasts are so amazing. They're so amazing. So if you can do a dry fast, please join us on that as well. If not, there's nothing wrong with you do doing juice. There's nothing wrong with you being just plant-based. But just deprive yourself. Even doing a Daniel's diet is, is great where he just did plants, plant-based. Okay? All right, I'm going to sign off. And so if you're going to join the fast, you know, shoot a comment if you got any questions. Whatever it takes, let's get it together, all right? Okay, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.